Well, the Eagles Ice Arena is a beloved place for skaters and hockey players in Spokane, but the arena was in major need of a facelift. So Mark Peterson and the KXY Extreme team stepped in. Mark joins us from the arena where they have been working all week long. And Mark, tomorrow's big reveal right here on KXY. Big reveal. It's going to be yeah. a lot of fun. We have a lot to do, Nadine, before we get there. We have a 16-team tournament starting Friday morning, so we have to be done tomorrow. So may I introduce you to Samantha, Samantha the World. Um, she's with Zero Res. Now, they did tile earlier today. Now they're in doing the carpeting. They've got about seven rooms of... I kind of don't care, so I don't really pay attention. The fresh paint on there from Rada Paint, Everheart Painting. Thank you. You guys are great. Braves, hockey players, go on. Give flex. There you go. They're hockey players. They don't need to flex. It's all in the skating. Um, I stopped by CDA Medals and uh, Miramar Medals today. And over there, atop that we're going to not only rename it but I have some special stuff going on you're gonna see it tomorrow it'll be fun Daryl PCI good afternoon hi so you guys have been here a couple of hours you're redoing yep. the ceiling tiles yep uh, GTS donated the material and PCI is taking care of us on this and we'll get her done it's our third one I think yeah this is the third project you've yep. helped us on you guys always come through beautiful GTS again it's so yep. white I mean we're pointing that out so that is exactly what we had prior to this this is a huge difference. Nasty. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get her fixed. Yeah, get her fixed and make yep. it happen. Thank yep. you so much. So, anyway, here, turn around. Just in case, look at it. Performance contracting, everybody. Now, get back to work. You think, oh, you're done in there, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, you have these to go. You're almost done. All right, we've got Lance Pounder and his crew, more of the Braves. They're putting in, again, this is some of the new stuff that we're putting in along this edge. This is all metal. And then we have, again, the thick border that's going to go around. This is as industrial as it gets. Here, we're going to flip around. I'm going to show them what that looks like. So Samantha continues to do this. Now you can see what this is really going to look like. So there's going to be this rich, leatherly, leather look. And then you've got... What we've done here with the fresh tiles, we've got the new carpeting. So this is really going to set this off. It's going to be wonderful. Now, Mountain States Electrical was in earlier. They put in new outlets, but look at the signage. Signs for success. Eagles Ice Arena, home of Seha, the Lilac City figure skating, and then we have the old timers. So all of this new graphics set for Thursday when we give the reveal. All of this is going to be done. Everything is going to be up and running the TVs from Access Unlimited are going to be working and we're going to have more to show you coming up in the six o'clock hour. This has been a crazy busy day. So this is going on here with about 40 people. We had a set of 10 guys that were in back working on the locker rooms. Now we've got three locker rooms done Nadine. We have one more to get finished tonight. Then we'll do the other four tomorrow. That'll be eight total. Gold Seal was in trying to get all the toilets to the auto flush mode. All of the new water fountains are in and everything works. They've got the water fillers and they have a lot of water that's consumed here at Eagles Ice Arena. So we want to thank them and of course Ferguson Kitchen and Bath for supplying the mowing utilities that we put in all the bathrooms. Nadine? Wow, so much going on. All right, Mark? It is down to the wire for Mark Peterson and the KXY4 Extreme team. They are working hard at Eagles Ice Arena tonight and Mark, boy, what would you do without those volunteers? My goodness. We're getting volunteers from all over the place. We have some of the hockey players, the hockey parents, the figure skating parents, some of the figure skaters have been in, but also this morning we had some professionals come in, at least apprentices from Ironworkers Local 14. Now the cool thing about this, Nadine, is that not only are they assisting and helping the community, but they're also getting to put some of their skills at work. Right now, this is a second year welding class. We got 10 apprentices out here today working at the Eagles Ice Arena. Uh, we had uh, Mark Peterson come to our building trades uh, meeting, I think last week, was that looking for some help to come out here and volunteer to help put some stuff here together. And we were able to come out here today and spend most of the morning working with all kinds of stuff today. All the corrugated steel, uh, we got metal panels, we got plate, we're cutting and, and drilling. So it's a really great thing for our apprentice to be a part of. 
You know, it's pretty cool that they came in, they had smiles on their faces. We make sure they were fed, but this is what we were talking about. This is the plate, this is the sheet metal, this is all Miramac. This is an external application that we brought into the inside. You know, the Extreme Team always has a little bit of design and functionality. This is going to be really cool. Also, great floors again, donating tile and labor to get this done. It looks absolutely wonderful. Um, someone came in and said, I so miss the 70s. Not. It's pretty cool. So we have all those people out there. They're helping. And as we get this done, we're going to get uh, uh, Mountain States Electrical is going to come in. They're going to get all that finished up. We're going to continue to have the interior done tonight. We have a 16-team tournament starting Friday. So, Nadine, here's the point. Thursday night, 7 o'clock, we've got to be done. We don't have a choice. There's going to be hundreds of people in here enjoying this for the first time. I didn't know that when we started Monday. All right, tomorrow morning on Good Morning Northwest, we'll have updates, including an update tonight on KXOY 4 News at 11. Mm, nothing like a hard and fast deadline. But you oh, can do geez. it, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can do it. We will. Uh, you will. A little pressure, but Thanks. you'll do it. All right, thanks a lot, Mark. Big reveal, you guys, tomorrow. Exciting.